Good morning, church family. I'm here in Annapolis, Maryland, of all places, near the U.S. Naval Academy. It's been an incredible and whirlwind week. I mean, it's hard to even describe. I've got so much processing to do right now. It's just been so many interesting experiences. Like, I was invited to a special gathering for Norwegians at the U.S. National Prayer Breakfast. There were about five of us to, to be able to go there. And so I go up for the meeting, but the president of Kashmir shows up. And so instead of it being a meeting about Norway, it ends up being a meeting about the situation in Kashmir and their relationship with Pakistan and India and with congressmen. And it was just, just mind-blowing, the whole thing, just to be sitting there and kind of like, oh, wow, we're, we're having this discussion with the president of Kashmir who's inviting us to come and visit. And um, I, was, I met the chief justice of the Supreme Court of Kazakhstan and uh, also the chief of staff for the prime minister. I didn't know who they were until the day. I, I, <laughs> but when I met them, I didn't know who they were. So... It's been, it's just been so many people to meet and hang out with. Um, it really has been just a lot to take in, but it's been really exciting. It was great to be at the prayer breakfast, hear King Abdullah of Jordan speak in person, and um, just to kind of understand more about a lot of the people involved and how they're trying to lift Jesus up with people in the powerful places and politics and, and, and in other places as well. Now I'm here in, a, in Annapolis on a private retreat with a friend of mine who was the one that invited me down to Brussels for the prayer breakfast for the EU down there in, in December. Um, and so we've got um, Ambassador John Richmond with us. We've got a couple of guys, one who's running for president in Haiti, and one who's running for president in Lebanon, um, just trying to support them because especially, goodness, the guy in Haiti, probably his chances are 50-50 will be assassinated. Um, but, but so many weird connections. I was talking with him yesterday. I mentioned that my daughter's at Hofstra University. He said, oh, my daughter went there. We live very close. If your daughter needs anything, our home is open to her. And this is a guy running for president of Haiti. So. Anyway, and interesting connections too, because um, outside the bowl that we work with in South Africa, they've got a Haitian location. So he wants to connect with the leadership there and what they're doing in Haiti, because he's looking at how we can rebuild a country. And so, so there's all kinds of ways God's bringing it together. I've got a friend who grew up in Haiti. He's in Canada, leads a ministry. He wants to help. He's connected to a lot of Haitian uh, political leaders. So, so God brings all these things that they don't seem connected at times, but in God's kingdom, whenever he's leading, it all connects. Uh, and, and even some really weird ways like, on the bus, we had this private bus coming here from D.C. yesterday. A guy sits down talking to me who I had met this week. And as we're talking, I knew he lived close to Basel, Switzerland. And I said, how, how far are you from Basel? Because I'm, I'm going to, I was going to, I didn't say this, but I'm going to be there in April uh, for a retreat that we're running. Chuck and Ingrid, who are going to be with us, are going to come down and speak at this retreat for international pastors across Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. And he said, well, I work in Basel. I work at Crossroads International Church. I said to this guy, I said, Gary, your church is hosting our retreat. And he looked, he goes, oh, that's you? And so just, I, I'd never met him. I know the senior pastor of the church. I know one of the associates. But just like, and he's on this bus with me because he used to, he used to work on um, the operation mobilization ships that a, a friend of mine who invited me here. Anyway, just crazy um, how God brings all this together. So really excited about the fruit that's going to come out of this. I don't know what all that looks like. There's already some interesting things brewing, but with how much we work internationally, these are some really positive connections to have, opportunities both for us to serve and to help, as well as potentially for us to be helped in critical areas. Um, it's been, yeah, just really has been fascinating. Some of the people, they're working in, in some really big ways, like David Beasley, who runs the World Food Program. They feed 160 million people a day, or um, my friend Asha, she leads Caterpillar, um, I'm sorry, she leads Caterpillar's philanthropic division. They spend $40, $50 million a year doing charity around the world. So really uh, some great people, and they're, they're having these conversations going, how do I serve Christ in my work? How do I make sure that that's what I'm really about? You know, whether they're in the politics or whether they're working for Caterpillar or whatever, this is what we're sitting around talking about with ambassadors and political leaders, is how do we lift Jesus up? How do we get out of the way so the story isn't about us, but the story is about him? Just, it's, it's really humbling. It's, it's, it's challenging, really. So I appreciate your prayers. Um, well, by the time you see this, I'll probably be sleeping, but when I get up, I'll have another day here at the retreat, and then I'll be heading back home um, this evening, heading back, getting back home Monday in time for lunch, hopefully, God willing, and everything goes okay. But I really appreciate my friend Julius. Thank you so much, brother, that you're here to, to share the message with us. Um, what a great guy Julius is. He's got so much to offer, so much wisdom, so I really appreciate him being here. I really wish I could be there in person, but he and I will be having lunch soon, and he's going to be on the men's retreat with us. He's helping bring people from Charisma, so we're excited about that as well as we partner together for the good of our city and for the good of our nation as we want to bring more men and 
in our women's retreats as well, bringing more people to Christ and to know him and to make him known. Thank you again. I love you guys. Look forward to being with you again next Sunday. Bye-bye.